Hey, what's going on guys? Well, people had requested that I did a video taking apart the Lightning OTF to show you how it works. So I said, yeah, sure, that's fine. Uh, so what I had here is the uh, Torx size seven. All right, that's what happens to fit these screws. There's a series of uh, six screws for the frame. All right, so you can see here's a knife working. All right, shoots out, shoots in. A lot of fun, right? So when I take OTFs apart, I usually keep the blade out. Okay, obviously you gotta do the uh, frame screws. You see this top panel is gonna come off. Okay, as soon as you lift this up, the button, or switch I should say, not button, that's gonna wanna fall out. Okay, so you can see what this switch is doing, it's milled out to accept that notch right there. So when you're moving the switch forward and backwards, all you're doing is moving this plate forward and backwards. Okay, so we have here, let me pop this off and show this to you. Here's your two springs. All right, and then you have this long plate. You can see there's a little fin on this side and the top portion of this square works the same. All right, and what you're doing is when this uh, blade is all the way out and locked, this little piece right here, there's springs on the back of here. There's one up here and there's one down here. Okay, so this is under spring tension and when the blade goes past it, okay, let me show you that. The blade goes past it, it moves out, okay, and gets in the way of the base of the blade so it does not want to push back in. Okay, and you don't have wiggle here because you're under the spring tension. All right, same with when it closes. When you pull the switch down, it uh, shoots the, the spring tension, pulls that blade all the way down, and as it pushes down into the frame, watch this other one on the left, it goes past that part, and there's a notch in the blade, and that prevents it from going forward. Okay, so it's under constant spring tension, and you can see there's two springs that power this on these clips here. All right, so reassembling is a little tricky, but not very uh, difficult. Our plate goes back in the frame, obviously. You can see the square part goes towards the front. This corner right here, okay, matches up with this cutout in the frame. All right, so that's how you know where it's going to be positioned. Now, the whole thing with the springs, you can see it's kind of an L-shaped spring. One side is slightly shorter than the other side. Okay, see how this protrudes down more than this side? The small side goes on top. So line that in the track. Pull down and press that down into the plate here. All right, we're gonna bring our blade about halfway down, just to make this easy. Rest this into the track, just like so. Okay, now you're gonna see these are the two positions. This is down position, then that's up position. So once you can slide this back and forth, you know that it's sitting inside the track properly. And again, you can see how this piece here is rubbing on that and what you don't see is the top is doing the opposite okay so it's locking in one position locking the other position now a quick tip here is when you're putting this back together it's it's better to keep your blade freely floating than to have it locked in the open position all right so keep this on an angle so that our switch doesn't fall off all right put your front scale back on make sure everything's lined up and now just like in the other video this is freely floating we want to reset it by pulling all the way forward and then we're back in business in this case, we're going to take our screws, put our screws back in the frame. I suggest when you're doing this to put um, two or three screws back in the frame before you try shooting it out and in again. Just in case if something's not right and it wants to fly apart, you know, it doesn't go across the room or in your eye or whatever. All right, so put some opposite screws in just to hold it together temporarily while you make sure that it's still functional. And then when you know it's functional, you can go ahead and put the rest of the screws in. All right, so we got all of our body screws back in and we're good to go. Still functioning. The last note I wanna give you guys is it is not necessary to take this apart to oil the internal parts. All you have to do is with the blade open, put a little drop of oil on either side of the blade here, okay? And then just work the blade in and out. If you want, you can do that twice. And just from the blade shooting in and shooting out, it's going to splash all that oil all around the inside and lubricate all those parts. All right, so there you go. That's how an OTF or out the front automatic works.
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, of course, leave them down below. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.